Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Phil Yakubuski from WDBAL News Radio 1090 with the man. Man, Tony I don't know Pan. if I'm the man, but Phil, meteorologist. Nice, Tony nice to Pan. see you again. Nice to see you again. So apparently, uh, we're going to get some snow. Uh, what Thursday night, Friday morning? Yeah, it's you know it's not going to be a big deal, but anytime it's the first snow of the season. Now we've right. had ice, but we've had very little actual snow. Okay. And, I, and in that sense, it's a big deal because people get excited about. But this is not going to be a big snow event. Um, I'm thinking around an inch for most people. And it's going to be kind of a long, drawn-out event, so it's not going to come down, you know, at a at a really intense rate just for a couple of hours. It'll start Thursday night, and there'll be light snow all the way through maybe the tail end of the drive time on Friday. And before it's all done, it'll only add up to an inch and a half, maybe in some of the northern suburbs. Two inches, I think, would be the most you would see out of this storm, and that would be more likely, you know, up near the Pennsylvania line. So what time does it start Thursday? I think there could be some flurries in the evening on Thursday, but uh, the real accumulating snow probably won't start until midnight, okay. you know, like in that area. If you want to get a general snow map, yeah, come on over here. We'll take a look at this. Can you get a close-up shot of this? Yeah, this is a, this is a, a map that, that I pretty much agree with here. This is the North American model, we call it, uh, and I pretty much agree with this. So you can see up here, you know, some two-inch amounts uh, near the Pennsylvania line, and then you get out into western Maryland, you wind up with four or five inches. Uh, the further south you go, probably less snow. That's typical for around here, but you can see this is not, you know, monster snow territory. And this is through 8 o'clock in the morning. So uh, all of that would happen overnight Thursday and into Friday morning. So you see, you know, if you're only going to end up with an inch and you have 12 hours worth of snow, you know it's not coming down real hard. Right, yeah. right. What kind of temperature are we talking about here? How cold will it be? Because I know it's very warm today. Uh, in fact, 50s. it's been very warm the past couple of days, yeah. which I don't like because I like the winter weather. Yeah, you're a skier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Phil skis a lot, so I mean, you know, he's a winter weather fan. So, but anyway, I, it's going to be colder, obviously, the next couple of days. What's the temperature Thursday, Friday, and even through the weekend? It'll be in the 30s uh, on Thursday and Friday for high temperatures, but the weekend is when really, you know, the cold is going to come in uh, Saturday night and into Sunday. Like Sunday morning, Monday morning, going into the beginning of next week, maybe down around 10, 12 degrees in some areas. I mean, that's really cold. And the high temperatures will struggle to get out of the 20s. Um, and we have another storm that we have to watch actually on Saturday. Uh, right now, most of the computer models have it missing us to the south and producing some snow for southern Maryland, uh, lower eastern shore down in Virginia on Saturday, right behind this one. Uh, and that's a more powerful storm. So you've heard the old adage, right? If it shifts in the track 100 miles, then we're into it. So it's kind of one of those things. Right now, I think it'll miss, but. Uh, that's a more significant storm than, than this one. All right, thanks a lot. Meteorologist Tony Pennant. Of course, you can always get updated weather forecasts 24-7 on WBAL News Radio 1090. Bye.